What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hannah. And my name is Mo. And today is going to be another gear video. So a lot of you guys have been asking lately and commenting on our videos what we bring on rides and what kind of packs we like to use. So in today's video we're going to talk all about what we bring in our packs and also what packs we prefer to use. So over the years we definitely have gravitated a little bit more towards Evoc products. So when competitive cyclists reached out and asked if we wanted to do another sponsored video, if there was any gear we wanted to try out, we figured it would be the perfect time to break down a few more of Evoc's lineup for you guys, specifically the Evoc Stage 6, the Evoc Stage 18, and the Evoc Stage Hip Pack, the 3 liter pack. So this this video is sponsored by Competitive Cyclist. For those of you who might not be familiar, Competitive Cyclist is one of the leading online bike shops out there. They have an extensive list of brands they work with, and they also have gearheads on standby 24 seven to help you guys out with any of your gear related needs. And once again, we do have that coupon code for you guys. It's awesome MTB 15, and that's 15% off your first order. Certain exclusions apply. And we also have some really exciting news for you guys. Competitive Cyclist gave us one extra pack, the stage 12 liter to give away in this video. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe down below to this channel, and leave a comment telling us what you guys bring on your ride. Now, before we break down these three riding packs and give our feedback on them, we do want to go over briefly what we bring on our mountain bike rides and what's inside our packs, because that is useful info for a lot of riders out there. So going inside the pack to see what's in there and opening up the tool compartment, the first thing we're going to talk about is the multi-tool. This is a Crank Brother multi-tool with a chain breaker built in. Some people might think they might not need the chain breaker. I found it to be very useful on rides. Even if you have a quick link, sometimes you do need to break the chain to use the quick links. The next thing that we bring on our ride is the Stans Dart. Now the Stans Dart is perfect if you get a puncture and you need to seal it up and you don't want to put a tube in, you are running tubeless. I also carry some refills for the Stans Dart, which I find also to be really nice, just in case you're on a ride and literally everyone's getting punctures or you're getting multiple punctures. We have a tire lever, so that's tire lever of choice. Got a pocket knife, definitely recommend a pocket knife just in case anything goes awry out there you need to cut something and then I also have quick links in here inside of this electrical tape I like to wrap it up in the electrical tape just in case I need the electrical tape and the quick links are in there as well we have co2 cartridges that we break to bring with a co2 chuck uh, some people do like to prefer for a manual pump now in terms of the tube we've actually started to use these things called tube alitos uh, the tube alitos are really awesome because they're so small basically the tube alito is lighter than a tube and it takes up way less space and it's also a little bit more puncture resistance but yeah so they're super tiny and they kind of just squeeze on in there now we also bring some form of a light this is a Knight Rider 750 some people might say it's a little bit excessive to have as your backup light and also an extra SRAM AXS battery now going into the big compartment this is where I like to keep the food and jackets so normally we'll bring extra jackets so here is my spare there's just like a lightweight a uh, windbreaker thing from Specialized, which I find to be nice, compact, and they actually do really well in the cold. And then also a ton of food, just in case. So right now, kind of my go-tos have been these things. They're chocolate bakery brownie things, and a couple extra tailwinds, which is uh, liquid nutrition. So we also have a spot tracker, which is an emergency locator beacon, just in case we are going somewhere a little bit more remote or a ride that's gonna take a little bit longer than usual. Now let's break down down these three Evoc packs and give you guys our feedback. So the first pack we're gonna break down is my new Hip Pack 3 liter by Evoc, of course. So I have used other Hip Packs in the past and they have been great and I'm continuing to use those packs, but I did want something with a little bit of extra storage and also a bladder. This one does have a one liter bladder in it, which is awesome. It also has a magnetic clip uh, for the nozzle which is great and it's really easy to kind of stash when I need that in my way. This hip pack also has the same tool compartment that the stage backpacks utilize so it's basically this zip down tool compartment and if you zip it down and undo the velcro at the top there's a really great spot to organize your tools. If you open up the main compartment there is a lot of space um, for the bladder as well as maybe an extra jacket, some food, maybe your keys. There's a lot of space in this pack. Also, you do have some really nice zippers on the sides. And in these zippers, you can store things that you want readily available because those will be the easiest to get stuff out. And it's also super comfortable on the climbs. It does have the airflow technology that Mo's gonna break down in a little bit. So it doesn't get hot on my back and it's really comfortable. And so far, it's been a great pack. 
The pack also stays well on your back when you're going down a chunky, uh, fast downhill. It doesn't come up, which is really nice, and it doesn't really bob or move around too much either. So I prefer the hip pack on shorter rides, and I don't need the full storage capacity in a backpack. Um, I just feel like it's a little bit more comfortable. Though the backpack is still comfortable, I don't need that much storage, so it's nicer to have something a little bit more compact. So for me personally, my favorite pack out of these tests was actually the Stage 18 liter. And going into this, we kind of had a feeling that Hannah would like the hip pack and like the Stage 6. For me personally, I use a specialized swap bib for most of my shorter rides in between one to two hours. And the only time that I'm gonna take a backpack out is when I am going on that three to five hour plus epic. So when I do end up needing a backpack, I'm gonna need it for a bigger adventure. And that's where the stage 18 liter I feel like has come into play. Now, one cool technology that Evoc uses, and that doesn't just apply to their backpacks, Hannah's hip pack has it as well, is airflow contact system. And that is basically how these packs stay nice and cool on the back while also staying comfortable as well. It's through these kind of foam style pads and basically it is allowing air to circulate but at the same time still keep some key points of touch on your actual back. The other cool thing with implementing a system like this that is a little bit on the more sleeker side is the pack is able to sit a little bit closer to the rider and the nice thing about that is having a pack that is a little bit closer to you allows it to feel a little bit more natural when you are on those steeper downhill trails. So so yeah, I do feel like this has probably been one of my favorite ventilation systems. And the cool thing is it is on the hip pack as well. So some other cool things about this pack is the tool access system. So basically just like Hannah's hip pack, you have the slide down zippers and then you have easy access to the tool compartment. So when you are on the trails and you get a mechanical, it's really easy to find those tools and also organize them as well. You also have a eyeglass compartment up here, just in case you are on the trails, it gets dark, you need to stash your shades, but you do want a little bit of protection there. You can put them in the sunglass compartment. The other nice thing about this pack is it has a very easy rain shell that's easily accessible. So if you are ever caught in the elements, and that's happened a lot to us up here in the PNW recently, uh, yeah, you can easily bust out the rain shell and put it over really easily. One feature that we don't necessarily use as much, but I do feel like it's nice to talk about, is the helmet carry system. There is a way for you to basically slip in your cross country or trail lid or attach a downhill helmet to the outside. Now going into the storage, which is probably Probably the bigger reason why I chose this pack. It has an independent storage compartment from the water bladder. For me personally, I like to have that just because I like to have my stuff separated just in case uh, something does happen to the bladder or it's just nice to have that separate organization. And the cool thing too is the zipper on the storage compartment goes all the way down to the bottom. Now that might sound like a weird thing to be stoked on, but when you are on the trails and you're looking for that one thing that you know that you have in your pack, it's nice to be able to kind of zip it all the way down, fold the pack all the way open, and be able to search through the pack rather than dumping everything out and then kind of having a chaotic mess. And then obviously you also have the water storage compartment and on the sides you also have room for two additional water bottles. So say you want to keep your nutrition water separate from just normal water, you do have the access to separate those and bring a bottle on a ride. Now one other thing that makes this pack so comfortable is the brace link on the shoulders. And that has been something for me feedback wise for companies with packs is the shoulders on some packs can get a little bit uncomfortable, but basically what the brace link does is allow allows the shoulder straps to move and adjust while you put the pack on yourself. So you actually don't have to make any adjustments. The pack will automatically do those adjustments for you. That's what makes the Stage 18 my personal favorite pack. And moving on to the final pack we're gonna be talking about today. This pack right here is the pack I would use on Epics, um, three hours to five hours, around that range. So basically on rides that Moe's taking his Stage 18, I will be taking the Stage 6 liter. So the stage Stage 6 liter is obviously quite a bit smaller than the 18. Um, I felt like the 18 was just a little bit too big on me because I have a little bit smaller of a frame and I'm a little bit more sensitive to weight. <laughs> So the Stage 6 has a lot of the same features as the Stage 18. It has the same tool compartment that we've been talking a lot about in this video. 
it has the airflow technology. It also has the helmet carry, which is really cool. Although, like Mo said, I don't think we're really going to be using that because we always keep our helmets on, even on the climbs, because you can still crash on the climbs. I really like this pack because I feel like it's the perfect size for me for those slightly longer rides. I can fit a jacket, I can fit food, I can fit everything I would need on those rides. And at the same time, it's just a really good size for my frame. On climbs, I do love the airflow technology. It doesn't heat up my back. It's super comfortable and sometimes I forget I'm even wearing it. On the descents, it stays put, doesn't go anywhere. Like a typical backpack, it has those two straps up here and down below. Um, so yeah, it doesn't move anywhere, it stays put. It's super comfortable and I've been really happy with it so far. Now do keep in mind for the stage six liter, there is no separate storage compartment um, between the bladder and the smaller pockets up front. So it has one big compartment that fits the bladder and anything else you would need. And then it has the two pockets up here. And it also doesn't have a rain cover, which I was kind of bummed out by, but honestly it's worth it for the size of this pack. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, learned some useful tips, uh, learned a little bit more about what you should carry and about the Evoc lineup that we love so much. Also, you guys, don't forget, we are giving away this Evoc Stage 12 backpack to one of you guys. All you have to do is hit that like button, be sure to be subscribed to the channel, and let us know in the comment section, what do you guys bring on your guys' ride? And we'll pick someone in two weeks. So thank you to Competitive Cyclist for sponsoring this video. And you can use the code AWESOMEMTB 15 for 15% off your first order and exclusions apply. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and until next time you guys, ride awesome. Yeah.